Hey y'all, it's Baby Scorpio here with a timeless pick a card reading. In this pick a card reading, this is going to be how are people about to see you? And I have two piles for you guys. The first pile is going to be Pyrite and the second pile is going to be Black Obsidian. So I will have the timestamps down below so you guys can either choose from there or you guys can look at the crystals in the next clip. So let's get it, let's go y'all. Okay, so this is going to be pile number one, and this is going to be pile number two. I'm gonna give you guys a minute to meditate. And let's get started into pile number one. Hey, pile number one, welcome to your reading. So before I get started into shuffling any of your cards, I'm gonna tell you why you chose this beautiful pyrite crystal. So how people are gonna start seeing you, you guys are gonna start glowing up, you guys are gonna start putting yourself out there even more. I feel like you guys are leveling up on your education. You guys are continuing to stay focused with like your higher learning, your spirituality. You guys are gonna start gaining more courage to put yourself out there and stepping out of your comfort zone. I feel like you guys are just leveling up on a mental physical emotional and spiritual level okay so let's get the overall energy of how are people about to see you um i'm already getting zodiac signs you guys could be earth signs or uh libra uh like i'm hearing libra or you could have libra in your chart or uh, air signs in general like big on libra so I have the card meditate and contemplate and it says new moon in Pisces you guys are starting to become more balanced and people are going to start seeing that they're going to start seeing that your spirituality is grounding you to making more decisions in your life I feel like a lot of people are going to start seeing that you guys are turning your dreams into a reality and people are going to start seeing that you guys are meant to do whatever you guys are putting yourself out there to do i feel like spirit is helping you in your self-loving journey and you guys are going to start to grow in your personal growth okay so you guys could be a pisces or have pisces heavy in your chart but i'm getting you guys are going to start using your inner child to heal any situations from your past in order to move forward in your present moment okay so let's see how are people going to start seeing you i'm using the priestess of light deck so let's see how people are going to start seeing you okay that was so weird i have uh, a moonology card and the priestess of light deck and i'm actually going to take it it says have faith in your dreams and it says wax and crescent moon so with this card i'm getting again you guys are stepping out of your comfort zone and turning your dreams into a reality you guys are transforming who you were in the past and you guys are stepping out in your present moment and becoming the best version of yourself i feel like you guys are putting in the work of just standing out and being the person that you need to be in the present moment to do the things that you want to do in the present moment and i'm also getting like you guys are growing mentally physically emotionally spiritually again like i said um and you guys are putting in the work that's what i'm hearing so let's see again how are other people about to see you how are other people about to see you? You guys could be blowing up on social media or you guys could be um, just getting more recognition in your job or in the, in like whatever work field that you're in. You guys could be putting yourself out there even more. That's what I'm getting. So I have the card Sacred Breath and Sound. It says life force and communication. You guys are going to start communicating your needs even more and 
what I mean by that is you guys are gonna start asking for what you need. So if a job is demanding more of you, you guys are actually gonna start asking more people for help. And with this, I feel like people are willing to give you the help that you need because you're gonna actually help them with what they need. So it's like, so I'm seeing 444 as well. So Spirit is saying, you guys are protected in your plans. But like I was saying before, I feel like you guys are going to have genuine partners that are going to help you and they're going to help you because they see an equal give and take in the relationship. So I feel like a lot of people are going to start seeing that you guys are giving an equal give and take in the relationship and you're communicating your needs more and you're starting to be like even more of the life of the party. Okay, so I have the card death and rebirth. It says darkness to light. So you guys are turning this dark energy from the past into energy that you can use to move forward in your present moment. I feel like when it comes to your recognition or your reputation, you guys are turning that dark reputation that you had in the past into something that is better. So Spirit is saying like you guys are releasing this reputation that you had from your childhood or from like your teen uh, years or like your um, young adult years into something that is more classy that's what I'm getting like if you guys were like a wild child you guys are gonna do like this 360 and you guys are gonna start changing for the better like people are gonna start seeing that you guys are actually changing your mindset you're changing who you're around and you're turning your life around for the better okay so I have the card precognition it says like abilities and future vision how people are gonna start seeing you is that you guys are gonna start leveling up on your psychic abilities the things that you say are going to be very powerful so spirit is saying be mindful about what you say about people places and things around you and start manifesting the life that you want right now start speaking out loud how you want things and speak your intentions so spirit is saying like a lot of people are going to start seeing that your visions and the things that you said in the past like are going to start happening okay so spirit is saying you guys are going to be like more wiser people are going to see you as like a wise person that they can go to for advice and spirit is saying make sure that these people are not using you for just like your spiritual practices or the things that you do spiritually make sure that you are setting up healthy boundaries for these people around you okay so the last card that i have from the princess of light deck it says deep emotions it says unknown feelings past life influences so i feel like you guys are gonna start sharing your emotions even more you guys are gonna start putting yourself out there and when it comes to your love life i feel like you guys are gonna start being more open to different people places and things and um you guys are gonna actually become more comfortable with how you are approaching your love life okay so i feel like you guys are gonna have like a lot of suitors around you and you guys are gonna start feeling more attractive because you're more confident with who you are okay i feel like your confidence is gonna start showing on the inside and out and i feel like you guys are gonna start grounding yourself in your spirituality so that you can actually move forward in your present moment okay so let's see how else other people are gonna start seeing you i'm using the power of love oracle deck so let's see how are these people gonna start seeing you let's see how are these people gonna start seeing pile one how are these people gonna start seeing pile one how are these people gonna start seeing pile one how are these okay so the first card that came out i have the compassion card you guys are going to start being more compassionate towards different people places and things around you i feel like you guys are gonna either get an animal or you guys could be having a child or about to have a child 
but spirit is saying like a lot of people are going to start seeing you in like this more compassionate energy of where you guys are going to start helping people more you guys are going to start holding the door for people more you guys are going to start giving your time and energy to people who are worth your time and energy okay and the next card that I have, it says expression. So you guys are gonna start expressing your needs more. Like I said before, you guys are gonna start expressing your emotions more. Um, you guys could be like very creative. So you guys could express your emotions like in a creative way. And I feel like you guys are gonna start doing that even more. And with the responsibility card, I feel like people are gonna start seeing you as even more responsible than you were before. And you guys are going to get even more responsibility because other people are seeing you as being even more responsible. And with the next card, I have the willingness card. You guys are going to be able to compromise when it comes to different situations in your life because you know that if you compromise, the end result will be for your highest good, okay? So Spirit is saying in situations that you need to compromise, you're going to start compromising even more. And that's going to help with your personal growth okay so i'm gonna use some tarot cards let's see how other people are gonna start seeing you i feel like you guys are gonna be like in this powerful energy of where a lot of people are gonna start seeing you as untouchable like like the evil eye that they're sending to you is not working you guys are gonna start leveling up even more you guys are breaking a lot of generational curses and a lot of people are starting to see that they're starting to see that you guys are glowing up in your mindset and a lot of people are going to start seeing that you guys are worth more than what a lot of people were giving to you in the past and i'm seeing the numbers 12 12 so again you guys are going through a lot of personal growth at this time so with the four of pentacles i'm getting that you guys are going through a lot of financial stability and a lot of people are going to start seeing you as going through financial stability or trying to get your finances together you guys are going to set a solid foundation down for your finances and a lot of people are going to start seeing that and a lot of people are going to start coming towards you for either business advice or they're going to want to be in your plans because you have a solid foundation for yourself so spirit is saying be mindful about the situations and people that are not for your highest good and with the six of cups a lot of people are going to start seeing that you guys are taking care of your inner child or you're using this childlike energy to move forward in your life and spirit is saying be mindful of these people from the past coming towards you and trying to act like things are good between you guys if you haven't gotten an apology spirit is saying make sure that you are standing in this energy of self-respect and you are not allowing these people to walk in your life like they haven't done anything towards you spirit is saying it's okay to forgive them but also make sure that you're standing in your self-respect i have the five of wands a lot of people are going to start seeing you as competition a lot of people are going to start seeing you as this person who's willing to put in the work to get everything that they deserve so they're seeing that as competition but spirit is saying make sure that you're releasing that out of your mind don't look at these people from the past or in your present moment as competition spirit is saying you are competing with yourself to be your highest self so don't get distracted by these people either from the past or in your present moment by competing with them okay so with the wheel of fortune you guys are stepping into this destiny that you deserve you guys are in this energy of where you guys are um, staying fulfilled in the present moment and you guys are allowing yourself to take good advice from different people places and things that you see around you or you're just paying attention to to the signs even more and spirit is saying like you were meant to be in this present moment of where you are right now so don't allow these people from your past or in your present moment to tell you that you are not destined for what you're doing right now like these people are starting to see 
that you are destined for whatever you're doing right now so don't allow these people to distract you from that okay a lot of people are going to start seeing you as healed with the star card you guys are going to start seeing yourself in a better image which is why other people are going to start seeing you in a better image and spirit is saying don't allow people to project how they feel about themselves onto you. Make sure that you're grounding yourself in self-love and that you're moving forward in your present moment. So a lot of people are gonna start seeing you as like, I'm getting like a model, okay? Like, like they're gonna start seeing you as like a public figure, somebody who is worth hearing, somebody who is the boss, the manager, somebody who has high authority, okay? So Spirit is saying, make sure that you are grounding your energy and that you are clearing out any difficulties that you may have within yourself so that when you are leading these people, you're able to hear any advice or healthy criticism that you're getting in the present moment, okay? So a lot of people are gonna start seeing that you're taking more criticism in like a, a better way and you're taking that criticism and you're fixing what you need to do and you're gonna start leveling up in that way as well. And with the full card, I feel like you guys are stepping into this new beginning. A lot of people are saying that you guys are moving um, away from your past and you're starting a new beginning in your present moment. You're not allowing these past situations or um, past difficulties stop you from being who you are in the present moment. And Spirit is saying, make sure that you're staying in that energy so that you can allow new people, places, and things to come into your life. So I'm going to pick three cards from the Dream Decoder deck and then end this reading. So how are, is pe how are people going to start seeing pile number one? How are people going to start seeing pile number one? How are people going to start seeing pile number one? How are people going to start seeing pile number one? How are people going to start seeing pile number one? Okay, so I have the card actor or celebrity. Again, you guys could be stepping out in your comfort zone and you guys are either going to start being a public figure or a manager or somebody of high regards, okay? A lot of people are going to start respecting you and respecting what you say and Spirit is saying be mindful of what you say around certain people because they might take it a little bit personal. So. I have the insects and reptile card. I feel like a lot of people are gonna start being more intimidated by you because of what you're doing in your present moment and how you're conquering a lot of these fears in your life. I feel like you guys are recharging your energy a lot and you're cleansing up any negative energies that you had in the past. So a lot of people are gonna start seeing that you're cutting off a lot of people or you're just moving forward from a lot of people that you used to be around in the past and you're starting to heal yourself and again you guys are going to start stepping into this energy of courage to overcome these fears with the feeling trap card i feel like a lot of people are going to start seeing that you're not holding yourself back or you're not feeling trapped like you're starting to open yourself up to different people places and things and you're no longer holding yourself back from the past you're actually moving forward in your present moment and you're allowing yourself to grow okay so that was you guys this reading make sure that you like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and bye y'all Hey pile number two, welcome to your reading. Before I get started, I'm gonna tell you why you chose this black obsidian crystal. So with this crystal, I'm getting that you guys are gonna start releasing a lot of people, places, and things that are no longer serving you. You guys are gonna start being even more quiet about your plans, your opportunities that you're having, these new endeavors that you're going towards. And I feel like you guys are gonna start being even more mysterious about where you are in your present moment, okay? I feel like you guys are going to start stepping out of your comfort zone. You guys are going to start being in this transformational energy, but you guys are not telling a lot of people about your plans, okay? So I'm going to start off with the overall energy and see how are people going to start seeing you, okay? 
So let's see. How are people gonna start seeing pile number two? How are people gonna start seeing pile number two? You guys could be going through a new beginning and you guys are stepping into this energy of just wholeness. That's what I'm getting. Um, one more card. Okay, so I have the cards. Your hard work is paying off and it says new moon in Capricorn. You guys could have Capricorn in your chart or you guys could be a Capricorn or um, whoever is watching you and admiring you is a Capricorn. But you guys are stepping out in your purpose and you're starting to um, put yourself out there even more. And Spirit is saying your hard work is paying off. So make sure that you're continuing to stay consistent with whatever you're doing in the present moment. I I feel like a lot of people are going to start seeing that you guys are being even more consistent with whatever you're doing in the present moment and a lot of people are going to start seeing that you're leveling up on your work ethic okay so the next card that i have it says a fiery climax approaches and it says full moon in aries you guys could be in aries or have aries in your chart or whoever's watching you could be in aries or have aries in their chart but i feel like you guys are going to start taking even more action you guys are going to start feeling more confident about yourselves and because you guys are not telling anybody your plans or you guys don't feel that negative energy of other people uh, projecting on how you're moving forward I feel like you guys are gonna start moving forward even faster okay you guys are gonna start learning from your mistakes and putting yourself out there even more let's see with the priestess of light deck how are other people gonna start seeing you I feel like you guys are gonna start smelling even better like I don't know what it is but I feel like your pheromones are gonna start smelling even better I feel like you guys are gonna start taking care of your body even more and a lot of people are gonna start seeing that and they're gonna start seeing that, seeing like a, a vision of a house. So you could either be buying a new house or moving to a different location or you guys have like this stable foundation within yourself and a lot of people are gonna start seeing that, okay? So let's see how other people are gonna start seeing you. I'm hearing the words wealthy. So you can either be obtaining a lot of wealth in your life or you guys are building the foundation to obtain a lot of wealth in your life, okay? So let's see how other people are seeing you. One more card. So the first card that came out, I have the summoning power and it says instinct intellect and control so a lot of people are going to start seeing that you are in control of your life you are releasing any people places and things that are no longer serving you so that you can step into your power i feel like a lot of people are going to start seeing that your intellectual levels are rising and i feel like a lot of people are going to start seeing that you're stepping out in your comfort zone and you're starting to show your light even more okay so i feel like you guys are not more so hiding yourself it's more of like when you do show yourself you guys shine even more okay so it's like you're protecting your energy more so and i feel like you guys are going to start using your intuition more on when to move forward and who to move forward with and a lot of people are going to start seeing that uh, the color white could be significant so you can be clearing out negative energies or not absorbing a lot of negative energies and you're starting to look within and using the energy within to move forward so i feel like you guys are doing a lot of inner child healing so a lot of people are going to start seeing that you're using your inner child to move forward in your present moment so the next card that i have is the precognition card and it says psychic abilities and it says future visions what did i say before you guys you guys are going to start using your psychic abilities more or you guys are going to start deepening your psychic abilities you guys could be stepping into your high priestess energy of where you guys are seeing the situation from a light and dark perspective and you're using that light and dark perspective to make a full decision for your 
yourself. So I feel like a lot of these decisions that you're making for yourself are gonna be decisions that are gonna help you move forward in your present moment and they're gonna be significant for the next 10 years, okay? So Spirit is saying, make sure that you're still being consistent with yourself. Make sure that you are allowing yourself to grow and you're stepping into your power even more. And I feel like a lot of people are going to start seeing your wisdom come out and just little things that you do every single day. Um, I feel like your routine um, is very significant and a lot of people are going to start seeing that your routine is actually helping you with growing. And a lot of people are going to start seeing that your spiritual routine is actually helping you cleanse out a lot of people, places and things and mindsets that are no longer serving you. Okay. So the next card that I have, it says friendship. It says support, fun, unity, and play. Again, you guys are going to be a lot more playful and you guys are going to start stepping out in your comfort zone and being in this energy of where you're very supported by the people around you. And a lot of people are going to start seeing that you can like have a community that's very supportive of you or just random people coming up to you and giving you compliments or just being in this energy of pure love. I feel like a lot of people are going to start seeing that you are starting to feel deserving of love and because you are deserving of love, I feel like you're attracting a lot more able friendships in your life and I feel like the people who are watching you um, really see that you're a really good friend and they see that you are not only supported you are supporting others who support you okay so I have the card earth magic it says fearlessness and removing obstacles a lot of people are gonna start seeing that you're not afraid of making mistakes and you're not afraid to move forward in your present moment. I feel like you guys are in this energy of where you guys are very confident about where you guys are going and the decisions that you're making in the present moment, which is causing a lot of people to support you because of how confident you are about where you're going in your present moment. So I feel like you guys, again, are gonna have like this major support system around you and i'm getting the numbers 10 10 so you guys could be making personal growth in your life to attract these people places and things around you but i feel like you guys are just removing any fears and you guys are practicing mindfulness even more to release these inner child fears and moving forward in your present moment so let's see how other people are about to see you with the power of love deck. So let's see how are other people about to see you with the power of love deck. You guys could be stepping out in this new beginning and you guys could be transforming yourself. And as I said that, the evolution card comes out. And I feel like you guys are just gonna move forward with your life. Um, even if there are certain people who don't want you to move forward, I feel like you are gonna just move forward. So I have the card, again, evolution. So you guys are releasing these obstacles so that you can actually move forward in your present moment. And a lot of people are seeing that these obstacles or setbacks that they've tried to send your way are not working and that you are overcoming all these obstacles that you had either in your present moment or in your past. You're starting to move forward and move forward in like this strengthened way okay i feel like you guys are learning a lot from your past and you're moving forward in like this evolved way i feel like you guys are starting to grow in your spirituality or you guys are growing in your faith so i feel like you guys are growing in your self-trust so a lot of people are going to start seeing that you guys are very confident within yourself and there's nothing that anybody can do to break your confidence. I have the card tolerance. So you guys are going to be able to appreciate other people's points of views. You guys are going to start to respect other people's opinions and because other people have their opinion, you're going to express your opinion even more. And 
I feel like you guys are going to respect that other people have their opinion and it's okay to have an opinion as well. So you don't have to agree on every single thing, but I feel like you guys are going to start moving forward of where you guys have your own opinion and you guys are moving forward with listening to other people's opinions without interjecting or trying to put your opinion on to them, okay? So I have the release card. Again, like I said before, you guys are in this energy of where you guys are releasing people places and things that are no longer serving you and are no longer um in alignment with who you truly are in the present moment so i feel like you guys are releasing mindsets as well that are not helping you move forward in your present moment and you're starting to respect your own personal views and with the integrity card, I feel like you guys are in this energy of where you are aligning yourself with who you truly are. And you're starting to be in this leadership energy of where you guys are just leading people. Even though like you're mysterious and you have like this certain vibe to you of where like a lot of people don't really know how you're thinking or how you're truly thinking or what you're doing and all of that i feel like you still have like this leadership energy of where you're stepping out and being the authentic version of yourself so a lot of people are going to start seeing that you are a leader or you guys are just stepping out and doing what you need to do in your present moment i'm getting you guys could be doing a lot of reiki and a lot of people are noticing that and they're either trying to get into seeing what type of reiki you're doing or they're trying to see what reiki is or you guys could be like a reiki practitioner a lot of people could be talking about that or just seeing you do that and i'm getting like you guys are just leveling up on who you truly are as like a spiritual being okay so let's see with the tarot deck how are other people seeing you how are how are other people seeing pile number two how are other people seeing pile number two how are other people seeing pile number two? Okay. How are other people seeing pile number two? How are other people seeing pile number two? You guys could be water signs or have water in your chart. I'm getting like big Scorpio energy. Or you guys could be like in this energy of where you guys are just like a rebels, okay? So how other people are gonna start seeing you, the first card that I have is the two of wands. You guys could be traveling more or stepping out of your comfort zone even more, but I feel like a lot of people are gonna start seeing that you're overcoming a lot of obstacles. You're starting to move forward in your present moment with a smile on your face, a genuine smile on your face, okay? So a lot of people are gonna start seeing that you are upgrading in your abundance, you're upgrading in your happiness, you're upgrading in your lifestyle, a lot of people are going to start seeing that you're in this fun and whimsical type of energy and I feel like you guys are very connected to your inner child. So again, you guys could have Pisces in your chart or you guys could be a Pisces or you guys could be a Scorpio. I'm getting Libra again like Libra was in the last pile, but I'm I'm getting Libra again, or you could have Libra in your chart. If you guys could be a Cancer or have Cancer in your chart, or you guys could be a Scorpio, like I said before. You guys are filling up your own cup and you're starting to be emotionally stable within yourself. I feel like in the past with the three of swords in reverse, in the past you could have went through a breakup or um, went through a sudden transformation and a lot of people are going to start seeing that you're moving forward from that and you're starting to open your heart again you're starting to heal from your past and release any situations people places and things that were not serving you and you're starting to step into this energy of where you guys are very grounded. You guys are um, expressing your emotions more, uh, telling people how you truly feel. And um, you guys are going to start giving your love to different people, places, and situations in your life, okay? And I feel like it's more of like you're giving your 
love to people who truly deserve it and so the people who don't deserve it are gonna like hate obviously but the people who truly see you working hard and putting in the effort to be a better person i feel like they're really gonna appreciate the love that you're giving them okay so the next card that I have is the Ten of Wands. So a lot of people are going to start seeing that you have a lot of responsibilities on your back. And um, Spirit is saying, make sure that you're asking for help from the people around you. And a lot of people are going to start seeing that these situations that you had in the past, these difficulties that you had in the past are starting to be released. I feel like a lot of the baggage that you had in the past, you're going to start releasing that baggage to heal yourself from the past, okay? And with you healing yourself from the past, again, you're going to start opening your heart to different people, places, and things and situations that are for you in the present moment. And with the Sun card, you guys are going to start being in this more positive energy of where you're not looking for peace, you're creating peace, okay? So instead of going with the chaos, you're creating the peace from the chaos, okay? So you guys are starting to become more grounded with who you truly are. I feel like you guys are going to start becoming even more self-aware of who you are. And with the Four of Wands, I think I said this it was either in this pile or the last pile but you guys can either be opening yourself up to a new house or buying a new house or stepping into a new apartment or um you guys are just leveling up on your foundation or building a solid foundation within your home life you guys are going to start moving forward towards balancing your work and home life as well so a lot of people are going to start seeing you as just being more stable within yourself because your, your work in home life is balanced, okay? So I'm going to use the Dream Decoder deck and then end this reading. So let's see how are other people going to start seeing you. How are other people going to start seeing pile number two? How are other people going to start seeing you? How are other people going to start seeing you? How are other people going to start seeing you? So the first card that I have is the unable to find the restroom card and i feel like you guys are gonna release yourself from a lot of these blockages that you had before like in this card it pretty much talks about like him trying to uh, find the bathroom in his dreams but it's more of like you trying to find a way out of your difficulties so i feel like you guys are going to start seeing where you went wrong in the past and learning from these situations in your present moment so a lot of people are going to start seeing that you're solving your own problems and you're starting to make way for the new people places and things in your life so i feel like you guys are releasing a lot of your past um i feel like you guys are purging a lot of energies from the past and you're cutting a lot of soul ties off okay so I have the family card. Um, a lot of people could be seeing you around your family or again with the four of wands. You guys are creating a good family life. Um, you guys could be having a child or just strengthening your family uh, life. But I feel like you guys are in this energy of where you guys are relating to your family a lot more or you guys are healing a lot of difficult situations with your family, okay? So with the insect and reptile card, you guys are no longer afraid of putting yourself out there and stepping into your power. And a lot of people are seeing that. A lot of people are going to start seeing that you're making way for the abundance that you deserve in your present moment. And they're starting to see that you are grounding your energy to obtain this abundance that you deserve. Okay, so that was you guys' reading. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And bye y'all.